Faith in the Vineyard, a love sealed by rain created by Jesus Pacambara. In a peaceful valley, nestled between hills of fertile soil and vineyards heavy with the promise of harvest, Jess and Young soon lived as devoted stewards of their land and to each other. Their vineyard was more than just a source of life. It was a symbol of their enduring love and faith in God's provision. The vines thrived under their care and the valleys people found hope in their kindness and unity. But one summer, a drought unlike any before struck the valley. The rivers dried, the earth cracked, and the vines withered under the merciless sun. The villagers who relied on the vineyard's fruit grew anxious as their hopes dimmed. Without water, the entire valley would soon fall into ruin. The fields that had once been rich with green of the vines now seemed to wither under the weight of despair. Every day felt longer than the last, and the people began to question whether their prayers would ever be heard. Yung Soon, whose heart was filled with faith and quiet strength, did not let despair overcome her. While others fretted, she sang hymns of praise and whispered prayers, lifting the spirits of the villagers with her voice and unshakable trust in God. Every evening, she gathered the people in the vineyard, soothing their troubled hearts with her songs, reminding them that God's timing was just perfect, even in the midst of suffering, yet in the silence of the night, alone under the withered vines. She too wondered how much longer they could endure. Her thoughts often turned to Jess, who had left weeks ago in search of aid, and prayed for both his safety and their vineyard salvation. Jess's journey had been filled with challenges that weighed heavily on his heart. The roads were long, and each village he passed, though seemed to echo the same refrain, drought, hunger, and despair. There was no easy answer. He spent long nights in prayer, wrestling with his worries. How can I face her? He whispered into the stillness. If I return with empty hands, his love for Yung Soon, his need to protect her and her future spurred him on. Every night, under the cold stars, he prayed, Set me as a seal upon her heart, a mark of love that will never depart. But even as he prayed, doubt gnawed at him. He had come so far, but the weight of failure pressed down on his shoulders. He wanted to so desperately to believe that God would answer their prayers. But what if the answer was silence? Then one evening, he encountered an elderly wise man who lived on the outskirts of a barren town. The man had heard of Jesus' journey, and he spoke of God's faithfulness and the wisdom that came from patience. God provides, the man said, but not always in the ways we expect. Look not only to the skies for rain, but to the earth beneath your feet. There's always a way if your heart remains steady. The man's words settled deep within Jesus' soul. He realized that while he had been praying for rain, God might be guiding him toward something more. Wisdom, action, and perseverance. The next morning, Jess set out for home, his heart filled with a renewed purpose in a plan that would not only bring rain, but secure the future of the vineyard. Back in the valley, Yung Sun continued to soothe the villagers with her hymns and prayers, though her heart ached longing for Jess. She had faith in him and in God's timing, but doubt began to creep as the day stretched longer. Have faith, she told the villagers as she gathered them each evening. Jess will return and God will hear our prayers. Yet when she was alone beneath the starlit sky, her voice faltered as she whispered her own quietly, Please bring him back to me. One evening, as Young Soon lifted her voice in a song of hope, dark clouds began to gather on the horizon. The first drop of rain fell onto her cheek like a tear, and soon the heavens opened. The villagers cheered and wept, their hearts filled with joy and relief. 
But Yongsun's heart was not only lifted by the rain. She sensed that Jess was near. She could feel it deep within her, as if her love had been a seal placed upon her heart by God himself. And then, through the soft rain, Jess appeared on the path leading to the vineyard. His face was weary but peaceful, and his hands were the plans for an irrigation system that would channel the rain into the fields and store water for the dry seasons to come. It was as if God had placed the answer in his heart, one not just of prayer but of action. Jess explained how the villagers could build channels and reserve walls that would save the water from this rain and protect the vineyard from years to come. But as he spoke, Jess's voice broke. I was so afraid, he confessed to Yung Sun when they were alone, afraid that I wouldn't return in time and that I would fail you. Yung Sun took his hands and looked into his eyes. You didn't fail, she said softly. Our prayers were heard, not just in the rain, but in the wisdom God placed in your heart. You came back to me with more than I could have asked for. She smiled. Through her tears, you came back with a future. Together with the faith and love that they had cultivated over the years, Jess and Yung Sun led the village in constructing the irrigation system. The vineyard came back to life. The vines growing strong once more and the villagers thanked God for the rain and the wisdom to sustain the land. Jess and Yung Sun stood side by side, their love and faith stronger than ever. In time, the vineyard flourished again, bursting with fruit and promise. Every evening, as the sun set over the valley, Yung Sun would sing songs of praise and thanksgiving, her voice reminding the people of God's enduring grace. Jess, with hands that had labored in love, would stand beside her, thankful that in the midst of their trials, God had sealed their love and faith together, unbreakable and eternal. And so, the valley thrived, not just by the blessing of the rain, but by the strength of two hearts bound together by love and faith. For Jess and Yung Sun, the vineyard was not merely a field of vines. It was a testament to what true love and faith could endure, no matter the drought or storm. The moral of the story is that it teaches us that faith alone is powerful, but faith coupled with wisdom and effort is transformative. While prayers and hope are essential, real change often requires patience, hard work, and the willingness to act in accordance with one's faith. It is through Jess's determination and Yun Sun's steadfast belief that their vineyard and their community thrives once again. Ultimately, the parable encourages the reader to believe that even in the darkest times, love and faith would not fail. And with trust, action, and divine guidance, renewal and restoration are always possible.